from baseball, football, and hockey, Terry Hines. Although Terry Hines' induction is in the builder category, his contribution ranks high in athletics, too. Terry's career as a pitcher spanned 11 years, from 1938 to 1949, first with the junior Rosedales, the senior CUAC Blues, St. Bonifus' native sons, and Carmen. He pitched no hitters, and in one memorable tournament, pitched 27 innings in a single day, allowing just one run. For 10 years, from 1945 to 1954, he managed and coached the Rosedale Juniors and Native Sons, and also served as commissioner of the Manitoba Amateur Baseball Association. He was the Winnipeg Gold Eyes' only general manager. He was there when the Northern League franchise was born in 1954, and was still serving in that capacity when the league folded in 1965. And when the Winnipeg Whips made a brief stopover in Winnipeg in 1970-71, Terry served as that franchise GM too. Terry also played a significant role in the evolution of the Winnipeg football team. He joined the Blue Bombers as business manager in 1965 and served as the team's general manager in 1967 and promotion manager in 1968 and 1969. Hockey was another of Terry Hines' interests and his managerial talents touched the Winnipeg Monarchs juveniles before a 12-year stint as the manager and president of the Winnipeg Senior Monarchs. A proud moment came in 1964 when the Monarchs won the Allen Cup emblematic of senior hockey supremacy in Canada. Terry also found time to act as the executive manager of the Manitoba Junior Hockey League in the mid-50s. And when Ben Hatskin formed the Winnipeg Jets and the World Hockey Association, Terry Hind was the club's first employee, acting as the Jets' executive manager from 1972 to 1974. And Terry's 47 years of involvement as a builder are not over yet. At the moment, he is part of a group trying to bring professional AAA baseball back to Winnipeg and Manitoba. Terry Hyde, builder and athlete, now a member of the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame.